What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Character Profiles. This week we're doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 and we're doing Declan Akaba. In the English he's known as Declan Akaba. In the Japanese he's known as Reggie Akaba. He's 16 years old. His anime debut was in Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 Episode 2 Swing Into Action Part 2. Here are his wins, here are his losses and here's his dual score. Reggie Akaba is one of the main protagonists of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 series, alongside Yuya and Yuzu. He also acts as Yuya's primary rival throughout the series, much in the same way as Kaiba acts as the rival to Yugi Moto. Reggie is stated to be the youngest duelist in history to be certified to duel in the professional circuit, having achieved this by the age of 15. Alongside that, he is also the second CEO of the Leo Corporation. Reggie has purple eyes and hair that is styled in a simplistic way, having a mix of light grey hair at the front and dark grey at the back. He wears red frame glasses and has both his ears pierced with black studs. His attire is rather casual for someone that is a CEO of a major company. He wears a dark blue sweater, white pants that end just above his ankles and white shoes. His most defining article of clothing though is his red scarf. Fun fact by the way, each of the members of the Akaba family have a card suit motif associated with them. Reggie's card suit is a diamond. This is noticeable by several clues throughout the series, such as his diamond earrings, the symbol he chooses for the Lancers, which has a diamond in the background, as well as his sweater when he was a child. And for reference, we might as well just reveal what the other suit motifs are for the rest of the family. The Professor is Spade, Henrietta is Heart, and Rayra or Ray is Club. Personality-wise, Reggie is portrayed as a very serious person who makes an effort to always be polite. He remains calm and collected under any situation, always remaining level-headed and strong-willed. Despite his perceived cold nature, he does care very much for his adopted younger sister Riley and his mother. This makes him an interesting character as despite his exceptionally advanced abilities in dueling, he is not overly arrogant with his opponents. However, he does take winning for granted and does not particularly care that much for other duelists in general. Though this begins to change after he meets Yuya, even smiling in a duel when he sees Yuya going all out. Reggie's last name, Akaba, means Red Horse. This is interesting as Seto Kaiba's name also contained the character Uma, which means horse. This further reinforces the parallel between the two. His Japanese name Reggie means Zero Child, with which he shares the character of Zero with his father and sister. It could also mean cleverness. Three years before the events of the Arc 5 series kicked off, Reggie's father Leo Akaba suddenly disappeared. This threw his family into disarray, specifically Reggie's mother Henrietta, who began throwing violent fits and suffered a change in personality. Out of concern, Reggie decided to find Leo and confront him. He used a mysterious device in his lab, which turned out to be a transporter, capable of crossing dimensions. The device took him to the fusion dimension. Here, he saw Selina being chased. Reggie summoned DD Cerberus to defend her and offered her his hand to help her escape. Eventually, though, they were both caught by Leo and the Obelisk Force team. Selina mentioned that Leo wanted to destroy the Xyz and Synchro Dimensions. Hearing this, Reggie protested to Leo about his actions and disappearance. But it was to no avail. Reggie was sent back to his home in the Standard Dimension. These events motivated Reggie to stop his father's goals, recruiting Yuya's father, Yusho, to stop him. However, Yusho believed that he could resolve the matter peacefully by simply talking to Leo. Yusho used the teleporter device to make the journey, but he never returned. Realizing that he would have to take matters into his own hands, he began planning the creation of the Lancers, an organization of duelists whose goal is to fight against invaders from other dimensions and stop his father, Leo Akaba, from dominating them. Now, Reggie uses a DD deck, as in D slash D and not D dot D, which 
believe it or not, are actually two different archetypes, despite being very, very similar. It's extra weird as well, because the D.D .D stands for different dimension, and D slash D, I pretty sure stands for different dimension as well and of course the upgraded form of the dds are the ddds which stands for in the japanese version different dimension demons which is a cool name but it's a bit confusing really getting back on track though the dd deck utilizes the dark contract cards to gather the cards required to perform fusion synchro exceeds and pendulum summoning of the ddd monsters the contract cards have steep costs though. However, Reggie is able to utilize cards like Contract Laundering and DDD Human Resources to avoid the negative effects of them. Reggie uses a lot of different monsters in the series, so we're going to cover them all now, so get ready. The monster cards included in his deck are DD Berthamet, DD Lilith, DD Necro Slime, DD Pandora, DD Swirl Slime, DD Vice Typhon, the Tuna Monsters DD Ghost, DD Lamia, DD Night Howl, the Pendulum Monster Monsters, DD Brownie, Cerberus, Proud Chevalier, Savant Albert, Savant Copernicus, Savant Dirac, Savant Gallier, Savant Kepler, Savant Newton, Savant Nicola, Savant Schrodinger, Savant Thomas, the DDD Monsters, Chaos King Apocalypse, Doom King Armageddon, Knowledge King Tomb Conquistador, Oblivion King Abyss Ragnarok. His extra deck includes the Fusion Monsters, DDD Dragon Bane King Beowulf, Flame High King Genghis, Flame King Genghis, Oracle King the Ark, Super Doom King Purplish Armageddon, Wave Oblivion King Caesar Ragnarok, the Synchro Monsters DDD Curse King Siegfried, Gust High King Alexander, Gust King Alexander, Super Doom King Bright Armageddon, the Xyz Monsters DDD Duo Dawn King Kali Yuga, Marksman King Tell, Stone King Darius, Super Doom King Dark Armageddon, Wave High King Caesar and Wave King Caesar. Woofed. That's a lot of Ds. Take a shot every time I say D or DD or DDD. <laughs> and with that, guys, that's another character profile done. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Do you like Reggie Akaba? And what do you think of his deck? Let me know in the comment section below. But other than that, thanks a lot for watching and catch you later.